So, if you took delivery of your Tesla Model 3Y after November 2021, if you do not know, you do not have data in the front USB. However, the good news is there is a solution for that. In Tesla's latest update um, came with some new in new games that we did not have um with that sonic cuphead and cat quest these games were already with uh, pre november 2021 models um that any models were caused after that time did not have so now with this um you have that however if you look at those games they'll all come with a message requires game controller plug-in usb glove box right so of course because you don't have data in the front usb your only option is to use the usb in the glove box however you don't want to do that too much you can not saying you can't but in the manual it actually tells you that that is not the primary purpose although it can be used for data it's not a primary purpose you want something that's probably a little bit more dedicated that you can use instead and ultimately that gets back to the front usb the rear usbs also do not support data so this will come handy um so to get the front usb to support data there is a fix um there's an aftermarket there are a couple aftermarket um options that you can put in that fixes that problem and um the thing again too is i don't know if they still if that's still the case but I know for, at least when I, I picked up my car in January of 2022, and as of, as of that time, the center USB console, the center console USB uh, ports were wired for data, the, cons the little console thing that fits the USB port itself was not. So the wiring was there, the jack is there for USB. It was just not plugged into the console. The console did not have a, a port for it. And so you had power and you had data and they were both wired. I don't know if that is still the case because if they stop making the console with the data, I don't know if they still do the data wiring. And so if that is still the case where they are still putting the wiring in there, then this solution will work for you. If Tesla stopped doing that entirely and they only just wired for power, then um, in that case, it's not it's not going to work. But um, if you have data, then this solution will definitely help you get data back in the USB uh, ports in the center console, which will allow you to plug in your phone for faster charging, plug in USB uh, drives if you want to stream music directly from a USB device or anything then you have all those options also so um let's see what that is and by the way you know don't forget to always like share comment and um let's get to this update so what is this fix there is a data module that you can buy and install that gives you data in the front usb and so I've now seen this from two vendors. Um, this one's from T Parts, and it says Center Console Data Model for Model Three and Y. And literally, and you've got some instructions, and it comes with everything you need in it already. So you've got the uh, oops, let's move that out of the way. You've got the actual module itself. You've got um, an X bit and then in the back of it you have this tool that you can use to pry out the cover and so 
I'm gonna show you what you need to do and um, and I think what's really missing in the Tesla one is that port right there and I think it's a USB mini port there's a that's a power port and then that piece there that's what's missing all right so for starters you now try out everything that's in there and real quick plug um i did a video before in the past um that i'll link here there's some accessories that will come in handy once you have this port here fixed with data one of them is this this is your usb-c to usb-a adapter and so once you fix this this lets you you can plug this into it and then from there you can plug in either your game controller or your usb drive for light shows which i will show you how you can do multiple well how you can have multiple actual options all right so now i've got that plugged in and i've got the game controller here i'm pressing the buttons there's no light that's on here and if i was to go to the screen usb controller needed and this is not doing anything so this is on the current tesla adapter so now we're gonna go back to this and i'm gonna take this out and we're gonna see what happens once we change this all right so first i'm gonna start with this tool here and so in the see if we can zoom in here there are two little holes there's one here and one there that this will go in and clip into just like that right now it's a little bit tricky but the trick is to pull out and up right so i'm gonna well we're just gonna pull out first so i'm gonna there we go so that already popped out the bottom you can see it's um loose but i gotta get the clips at the top too so uh, let's see if i can get my hands a little bit there we go pull that i've got one and then um there we go and so now that's out this is the clip and so if you look when you pull yours this is the i've already opened the four so i already know um but this is the the data port so the wiring is there but for some reason um they just don't have the the port in the um console so it's already wired for it i, I hope it's still the same way i believe um well as of my picking well, my delivery was wired so hopefully it's still the same way where it's wired for it and they're just not adding the chip if that's changed um this may not be applicable to you anymore so um just you know see what that looks like and so i'm gonna put that aside for now it's a pretty tight space to work in the wires are not so long what i'm gonna do is i'm going to um try to unplug this power thing here first okay so i think i know how that goes there we go Oops. so now i've got this out this is the front facade and so here now i've got the power and i've got the data right so i'm gonna separate this from here now let's put this up here close that up i'm gonna take the uh x screw bit and i'm going to lose in that So now that we've loosened the screws, you just take it out. This other part, so you can see, this is the Tesla one um, in my left hand, and this is the aftermarket T-Part one here. They look exactly the same, front and back, no difference. Maybe a little bit of finish, 
Tesla one is a little bit glossy. Um, t parts a little bit matte, but nobody's seen that. Um, the major difference that's here is on this side. And so I'm gonna put them on top of each other. Um, you can see Tesla teapot what's missing it's right there that data port right there in the aftermarket one is not here all you have here is just a flat pin there's no it's covered up but they both have the power and the data like I said the car's already wired for data um, and so all we need to do is plug that data cable into the data port put wire back and we should be good to go so let's get to that and see what how it goes All right, so now we're going to go and put this back in. All right, let's take the power then. Put the power in. There we go, we got power in. And then I need to get the data. You could plug in whichever one works best for you. I'm working with a pretty tight space here, so big hand problems. It's really tight, the cables aren't long, so it's a pretty tight um, space to work in there, especially if you don't have small hands, oops. Um, but we got it in now, so now I'm just gonna take that and we're gonna put, line things back up with the ports. There we go. Oops. There we go, and so now everything is back as it was, and so, Let's check and see now if data works. I can see the message here still says plug into USB, um, glove box USB. So I don't know, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna take this, plug it into the USB-C. And so if we look at the game controller now, oh, first we can see we've got light now. Before we didn't have a light coming on. And if you look at this, the error message went away. So it no longer says plug into USB in the glove box. Let's go check Cat Quest. That also now says play game. And Cuphead also says play game. If I was to unplug the USB, the message comes back. So it says, in, it says plug in glove box USB, but I am plugging into the center console USB. And once it sees that, that goes away. And just like that, you now have um, data in your front USB. At the same time also, this also means you can use the front USB for other things like you want to stream music from your phone from usb uh, folders uh, usb drives you've got everything you need now to do all that stuff without having to plug into the usb in the glove box so now that's me with the controller you can see yeah there we go we, we got the gist all right so there you have it um hopefully this helps someone um you know now you can enjoy your time at a supercharger waiting in a grocery store you know in a parking lot of a grocery store or whenever you're just in your car hopefully this makes it easier for you to enjoy those moments and um like i said you know also enjoy the more versatility that you have now with those two ports so um do let me know if this is helpful to you you know um don't forget to like share 
subscribe to you know be on the lookout for more more content and um again you know, the feedbacks and the comments please you know keep them coming let me know how how this has been helpful to you and so um thanks for being here i will see you in the next video